Now let us see today some important example on the beta function. Uh, we will see here how to solve some special integral by using the beta function and simultaneously we use the gamma function relation as well. So let us see the first example, uh, very important and the famous example that is in the beta function. It is evaluate this integral 0 to 2a x under root of 2a x minus x square dx. Under root ka matlab to the power half hota hai. Okay. Now, whenever we solve the example on the beta function, you have 1 minus ke form. So, if we look at this, to we have root 2x. We have to take out of the root 2x. So, this 1 minus ke form. Mein okay? to I take out the root 2x common. So, this will be written as then 1 minus x square upon 2x. 1x get cancelled. Here, we have x by 2a. And root ko humne to the power, it is what? Half. Okay? This root 2a is constant. That is taken outside of the integral sign. What is left under root of x? So x to the power 1, x to the power half. That is x to the power 3 by 2. We are having. And with the same term 1 minus x by 2a to the power half and dx. Humko beta function ke definition ke accordingly 1 minus some uh, single variable chahiye. 1 minus x ne to 1 minus t. So hum kya karenge abhi? x by 2a ko put up kar denge t. Or substitution lenge yaha pe. This one. So x equals to ho jayega 2a t. Take a derivative. dx is equal to 2a dt. Now what about the limit? When x is 0, if x is 0, then t is 0. Aara hai. But when x is 2a, 2a by 2a, then t will be what it is? 1. So here the limit change hoga, 0 to 2a, it is 0 to 1. What we need is jo needed hai by the definition of beta function. Integral 0 to 1. What is x? x is 2a t. Here we will put up. Kar denge. Then 1 minus t, x by 2a we have taken as t to the power half and 2a dt. 2a to the power 3 by 2 and this 2a, we take outside of the integral sign, integral 0 to 1, what is left? t raised to the power 3 by 2, 1 minus t raised to the power 1 by 2, this is left. Now simplify this quantity, root matlab it is 2a to the power half, this is 2a to the power 3 by 2, this is 2a to the power 1, so 1 plus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2, that is coming, and, uh, coming out to be the 6 by 2, matlab cube, so this will be 2a cube, then this integral by definition can be written as, it is beta of, kaise likhenge it is, power of t 3 by 2 plus 1, then power of 1 minus u, it is 1 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1, 3 by 2 plus 1 means it is 5 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1 means it is what, 3 by 2. Now, gamma of beta, uh, gamma, beta sorry, beta of 5 by 2 and 3 by 2, for, to evaluate this one, I will use the relation between the beta and gamma function, apply kar de usko, that will be gamma of 5 by 3, sorry, gamma of 5 by 2, gamma of 3 by 2, then addition of this 2, that is gamma of, 5 by 2 plus 3 by 2. Now gamma 5 by 2 that we know by the result that, that, that can be written as it is 3 by 2, 1 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2. This result we use that is gamma of n equals to n minus 1 gamma of n minus 1. This result we use here. Then we get these two quantities gamma of 5 by 2 as 3 by 2, 1 by 2, gamma 1 by 2 and gamma of 3 by 2 is what? 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2. Now this is 2 LCM liya 5 plus 3 8, 8 by 2 is what 4. So gamma 4 that is nothing but 3 factorial. Gamma 1 by 2, 1 by 2 that is root pi root pi. Simplify the quantity. We are having the answer as it is a cube pi by 2. Because root pi root pi is pi. Now second example we will see. It is a very important example. This is also it is evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 root of tan theta and d theta. So, first you have to simplify it in this sign or cos. Because we have the relation of beta function is only sign or cos. So, we break the tan in two parts. That is sign by cos. Cos will go up with negative index. So, it will be sign to the power half. This is cos to the power minus half. Now, apply the formula. How is the formula? Look, 0 to pi by 2 limits. Sign to the power p theta, cos to the power q theta and d theta. That will be it is 1 by 2 beta of this power of sin p plus 1 by 2 and then power of this cos q plus 1 by 2. So, here power of sin is 1 by 2, power of cos is minus 1 by 2. So, this will be 1 by 2 beta of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is p plus 1 by 2 then minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 okay that is q plus 1 by 2. Then baad then simplify this this is 3 by 2 simplify this is 1 by 2. This is nothing but 3 by 4, this is nothing but 1 by 4. Apply the relation of beta gamma function. This will be gamma 3 by 4, gamma 1 by 4. Then addition of these two in the denominator, gamma 3 by 4 plus gamma 1 by 4. Sorry, gamma plus it is 1 by 4. Apply this one, uh, evaluate this one, 4 plus this 4 as LCM, 
थ्री प्लस वन फोर फोर बाय फोर इज वन गैमा वन इज वन ओनली ना वॉट इज लेफ्ट गैमा ऑफ थ्री बाय फोर गैमा ऑफ वन बाय फोर दिस इज लेफ्ट विद दस सो गैमा ऑफ थ्री बाय फोर और वन बाय फोर अगर लेफ्ट है अगर अपॉन टू आता है तो हम डायरेक्टली फॉर्मूला अप्लाई करते हैं अगर फैक्टोरियल सॉरी इंटीजर्स आते हैं तो हम डायरेक्टली फैक्टोरियल वाला फॉर्मूला यूज़ करते हैं बट यहाँ पे अपॉन थ्री बाय फोर अपॉन वन बाय फोर है तो आपको फॉर्मूला कौन सा यूज़ करना है ये वाला दैट इज गैमा ऑफ एन गैमा ऑफ वन माइनस एन इट इज पाई अपॉन साइन ऑफ एन पाई दिस फॉर्मूला वी ऑलवेज यूज ओके अपॉन फोर है इसलिए सो देन दिस गैमा ऑफ थ्री बाय फोर वी नो दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज इट इज वॉट गैमा ऑफ वन माइनस वन बाई फोर लिख सकते हैं हम इट इज इन टू गैमा ऑफ वन बाई फोर सो वन माइनस वन बाई फोर अगर हम कंपेयर करेंगे विद दिस फॉर्मूला वन माइनस एन एंड देन इट इज वॉट गैमा ऑफ फोर सो एन विल बी इट इज वॉट वन बाई फोर अप्लाई दर फॉर्म इन द फॉर्मूला पाई अपॉन इट विल बी पाई अपॉन साइन ऑफ पाई बाय फोर सो साइन ऑफ पाई बाय फोर इज वन बाय रूट टू रूट टू गोज अप दिस पाई रूट टू बाई टू और मे बी वी कैन से वी कैन रिड्यूस दिस टू द पाई बाय रूट टू Now same way we can solve the example of this one that is zero to pi by two root of cot theta d theta. How to solve? We will do zero to pi by two root of cot theta. Cot ko hum break kaise kar denge? It is what cos by sine me hum likhenge usko. So this will be written as zero to pi by two cos to the power half theta sine to the power minus half theta and d theta. अगर आप देखेंगे तो ये इंटीग्रल और ये इंटीग्रल नियर अबाउट सेम है बस पावर ऑफ साइन एंड कॉस आर चेंज्ड ओके और फॉर्मूला सिमेट्रिक नेचर में है तो आपका आंसर सेम आना चाहिए दैट इज पाई बाय रूट टू इज इट बिकॉज आंसर तो सेम ही आएगा इफ यू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला दिस बीटा फंक्शन विल बी सेम और बीटा सिमेट्रिक प्रॉपर्टी होने के कारण उसको हम इंटरचेंज भी कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो आपका आंसर विल बी सेम दैट ऑफ सेम एज दैट ऑफ द रूट ऑफ टेन थीटा वही आंसर रहेगा इसका रूट ऑफ कॉट थीटा का सो इन द एग्जामिनेशन एनीथिंग कैन बी आस एक तो ये वाला एग्जाम्पल भी पूछ सकते हैं या फिर ये वाला एग्जाम्पल भी ओके सेम वे से सॉल्व करना है फिर इस एग्जाम्पल को भी हमको ओके सो दिस वी हैव सीन द टू एग्जाम्पल नाउ ऑन द बीटा फंक्शन दैट इज हाउ टू अप्रोच टू सॉल्व दैट एग्जाम्पल ऑन द इंटीग्रल ऑन द बीटा फंक्शन थैंक यू